Hello, my name is Antoine Delaporte. I'm a technical product manager at Broadcom. And in this video, I'm going to introduce a tool which is called NSX Application Platform Automation Appliance or NAPA. So basically, what is NAPA? Uh, this is an OVA uh, that you can download to simplify the installation of NAP using vSphere with Tenzu. Uh, this is using a prescriptive topology and also provides some troubleshooting tools if you want to use them at some point. It also comes with a dedicated documentation and is fully supported by the GSS. So let's go uh, through a small demo of that tool. So when you uh, deploy the NAPA, uh, you will end up with that result. So you can first uh, double check you know, the prerequisites uh, for that tool. Then you connect to your vCenter. So you just provide the information about the vCenter, the credentials and so on. Okay. Then you can select the data center, the, class, the cluster, the data store, or the storage policy that you want to use. Then you define some network settings. So we need three routed networks. So you have to specify uh, the management, the front end, and the workload networks for that. You can also set the NTP uh, server and the uh, DNS uh, servers and the search domain. Then it comes uh, to a uh, load balancing configuration. So we are using HAProxy here. And so you can set up uh, the credentials for that HAProxy VM, the IP addresses that are going to be used for that uh, VM, and uh, the uh, VIP range that is going to be used. Then we need some IPs. So you set the IP ranges for the management and the workload network. You can specify uh, which NAP installation source you are going to use, and you uh, define your uh, NSX uh, credentials, IPs, and so on, and the size of your uh, uh, deployments. Then you can define the two FQDNs that we need for the service and the messaging. And that's it, basically. So now you can just run some uh, tests. You can uh, double check uh, the firewall rules that uh, should be open. And then you click a deploy update. So the NAPA will uh, take care about uh, creating the content library, creating the VM classes, activating the TKGS um, supervisor cluster and everything else. Then you can deploy NAP itself with just clicking on that button. So it will take something about you know 30 minutes, but with only few uh, clicks, you end up uh, with um, a NAP installation which is fully deployed and fully supported.